For this assignment, I interviewed my grandmother about her childhood and upbringing in Naples during the 50s. Life in the south of Italy at that time was very different than I am here today. It is certainly different from the life I lead. The first topic I discussed with my grandma was local events and history. I asked her about war and how it affected her family. During World War II, they suffered hardship. There was no traditional Italian food. After the war ended, they cooked fried pizzas, a basic Neapolitan dish made of dough. Now I understand why my grandma tells me to feel grateful for the food I have and reminds me how fortunate I am. Our lifestyle now is very comfortable compared to hers. I can eat meat and fish when I want. The second topic we discussed was customs and technology in Italy during the 50s and how it affected her family. She watched the first program on television in 1953, a quiz game. She was very excited. She traveled abroad for the first time, but not by plane as it was too expensive. Nowadays, we take technology for granted. My grandma lived a much simpler and more modest life. Maybe less stressful too, as all our technological gadgets can rule our lives if we are not careful. The arts play an important role in Italy's culture, as they attract tourists to Renaissance cities like Florence and Rome, as well as further south to Campania and Calabria. I asked my grandma if she enjoyed the arts, and she said that she loved going to the opera at the famous San Carlo Theatre. She also listened to popular music, singers such as Claudio Baglioni, Duccio Dalla and Miglia Pizzi. Opera was created in Italy and music is in our blood. It is still an important part of Italy's customs and traditions today and is appreciated around the world. The last topic I discussed was customs and history. Italy's fame is above all for f football and fashion. When grandma was young, stylists like Valentino, Gucci and Prada were not seen as much as now, as only rich people could afford them. My grandma's mother would sew all the clothes for the members in her family. It was a way to save money. Nowadays, we ask our parents to buy us fashionable clothing. We always want more than we actually need. During this assignment, I have discovered a great deal about Italian culture in the past and how it compares to my own in the present day. I only know a few people who have been able to relate to what my grandma said. Her advice comes from the difficult experiences and hardships she lived through. Fortunately, I have never had to experience them, but listening to people like her will make our generation better and happier people.